What's going on everybody? We've got an awesome heavyweight fight in the co-main event of UFC Albany and it is going to be awesome when Francis the Predator Nogano of rank number 12 goes against Anthony Freight Train Hamilton at UFC Fight Night 102. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button over there with me and Big Doug Jimmy on it. You see the little red uh, thing over there in the corner hover over that and hit punch that subscribe button now let's get to the prediction and then we'll get to some uh, fighter stats and whatnot have you so this is going to be awesome i'm so looking forward to this co main event with these two heavyweights both guys have huge knockout power in their hands and it is going to be a slugfest without further ado my prediction for this one is going to be the predator francis nogano with a knockout tko first round victory over the freight train anthony hamilton in the Hamilton's going to be coming toward him, and Francis Nogano's going to hit him with a nasty right hand, that's in, and probably maybe a left uppercut or something, but it is, I'm pretty sure some kind of right is what I'm kind of figuring, maybe it's possible left on either hand, you know, but I really think that Nogano was going to knock out Hamilton in the first round. Uh, it's possible to TKO, both dudes have nasty chins, are both very strong individuals, and uh, you know, it's just going to be sweet when these two go at it. Uh, Francis Nugano, the Predator, is 8-1 from Cameroon. And Anthony Hamilton is 15-5 from the U.S. I'm pretty sure is where he's out of, to uh, my understanding. Where is he from, though? Anthony Hamilton is from Seattle, Washington, it says here. And he fights out of Jackson Winkle Johns MMA in... Um, Arizona, I'm pretty sure is where that is. Uh, but anyways, uh, Anthony Hamilton, he, not to be confused with the singer, he is eight and he's got eight wins by KO, TKO, one by submission, six wins by decision. He's lost five times, two by KO, TKO, two by submission, one by decision. Ever since he's come to the UFC, he's been back and forth. He is three for three inside of the UFC octagon, and uh, he lost his UFC debut by neck crank to Alexi Olinki at UFC Fight Night 44. He came back and won against Roland Potus uh, Potts or something uh, by TKO in the second round and then Todd Duffy viciously knocked him out in the first round at UFC 181. He came back and fought at UFC Fight Night 64 and defeated Daniel Omilongchuk by unanimous decision. He ended up going against Shamil Ab uh, Abu Dhaka Kamuv, fuck, I just butchered the hell out of his name. Anyways, uh, he won by, he lost by unanimous decision to him at UFC Fight Night 83, and he came back to win in his next fight at UFC, uh, UFC 201, and won by knockout in the first round against Damian Grab -O Whiskey. Uh, so, and I'm pretty sure I won with Damien on that one, from what I recall. Yeah, I did, and I was, uh, I ended up being my own words. And, uh, I do like Hamilton, but he goes back, he's been back and forth in the UFC. Before that, though, he was on a six-fight win streak with, uh, that he had multiple first-round finishes with a KO, TKO, some, uh, armbar submission, a TKO, and a KO, and a unanimous decision before coming to the UFC. He did, uh, though, start his career on a, uh, was that, six fight win streak with three unanimous decisions, a TKO, unanimous decision, a TKO. Then he lost to Walt Harris by KO in the first round for his first time ever losing in his pro career. And then he lost by submission arm triangle to a guy named Fabarino Scherzner or some shit. Uh, so, anyways, you know, so he's been battle tested. He's got 20 fights. It'll be his 21st fight. But I am going with the uh, younger fighter uh, with Francis Nugano. This guy is a beast. Uh, it says he's from Paris, France here. I don't know. The UFC has it. He's from Cameroon. Uh, kind of interesting. I do remember hearing uh, him being introduced from Paris, France at one point. Uh, but anyways, he fights out of MMA Factory and he's got five wins by KO, TKO, three by decision, never won by decision. He's never been finished, lost one time by decision, you know, so that is something else to remember. He is on quite the fights, quite the uh, winning streak right now with, I believe it is, seven wins right now. He's uh, won all three fights he's had in the UFC, and he's had finishes in all three of them. He beat Luis Henrique 
uh, multiple names uh, by KO in the second round in his UFC debut at UFC on Fox 17, which was an amazing KO. I remember that. I thought it was awesome. Then he won by TKO Dr. Stoppage in the second round over Curtis uh, Belades, and that was a nasty fight. And then he won at UFC on Fox 20 against Bojan my hold of look by TKO in the first round, and that was awesome. Uh, I didn't see, I did, I remember watching the, some footage of his beforehand, before he debuted, like when I heard he was coming in and when he was fighting, and I was like, wow, this guy has got some badass power. His first fight as a pro, he won by armbar. He lost his second fight by unanimous decision. Then he came back and won by KO in the first round, arm triangle, and uh, the second round in his next fight. Uh, submission, I'm not sure what kind of submission, because it doesn't say here in the first round. Then the TKO, and then as we know, his uh, KO and TKOs in the UFC. And I am going with Francis Nugano. If you agree with me and you think he's going to win in the first round by KO, TKO, uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button over here. There be, should be a subscribe button popping up any moment now, or already had. And leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions about anything and everything I said. Let me know if you're going for Anthony Hamilton. If you are, why are you going for him? And how do you think he'll win the fight? If you enjoy this fight, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to this fight. It's gonna, It's one of the fights of the whole weekend that I'm really looking forward to. I've really become a huge fan of uh, Francis Nugano, to be honest. The guy is a pure beast, and that's why he's called the Predator. Thanks for watching.